Hey, hey, it's Rochelle here from thephotographersociety.com. Welcome to this week's episode. So this week we're going to talk about the annoying parts of being a photographer in business and having a business overall. Now recently I got um, a difficult, difficult client that absolutely ripped out every excuse in the book to avoid paying her fees for her images and for her products and the things she ordered. So this week we're going to talk about how to deal with difficult clients. Let's dive straight in. to get a difficult client over the lifetime of your business. If not, then whatever you're doing, keep on doing it and do it more, do more of it so you avoid those difficult clients. But in today's episode, I wanted to share with you three things that I found that have worked for me um, with every difficult client that I've got. And up until now, over the six, seven years of business, I've only gotten about three and this one was the third one just a few weeks ago. So first things first, do not change the rules. So as a business, and if you've been in business for a while, you know that you have rules and things that you can agree to, you know, clients and things that you have to say no to. Just because that client is difficult, you really can't please anyone. So don't change the rules because simply you can't please anyone. And then one day it might backfire at you because she might tell a friend who that friend comes and books in and they know that you're easygoing you can change the rules and they try and change it again as well so that's how it might backfire at you and this third thing why you can't and you shouldn't change the rules I should say is that you don't you can't solve you can't solve everyone's issue and every time you do you find that something will come up so for instance with this client that I had I tried to meet her heart um, before I met her uh, halfway. I tried to solve it so she would be happy. Then she came up with another excuse. Then after three, four ex excuses, I met her halfway and still I got no result until recently where she was happy to take me up on that offer. So that's why no matter what, you know, how you resolve it, they'll always come back and you know give you some other excuse like this client did with me. So don't change the rules if you can. If you absolutely can't, stand your ground and if you have contracts in place and you know that you've done nothing right, wrong on your end, then by all means stick to your rules. Second thing is you want to be firm of what you say and what you decide on and pretty much explaining your rules and policies as a business because when clients are trying to, you know, argue with you in a sense or trying to change the rules for you, if you're not firm and you stand your ground, they can sense it in your body language, they can sense it in your tone of voice. So it's really, really important to firstly actually believe what you're saying because people can really sense that. Now this will help a client realize that there's no way around changing the rules and that they take you seriously as a not only as a photographer but a business owner. And then second thing you know you won't feel as guilty because you're standing your ground. It will actually help you you know um, be respected and treated properly as the business owner and as a professional. So you need to be firm in the way you present yourself, the way you're talking and telling them what you know speak about the issue that's arise and also be firm in the tone of voice because every client that's asking for a way out will actually sense that and if they sense your weakness they'll grab onto it and they'll try and um, beat you hard with it in a sense trying to change the rules so in the end they get their own way now it's not a battle here but you will come across these difficult clients that will actually make it feel like it's a battle in itself the third thing is is the most important thing because once we get a difficult client we end up doubting ourselves we doubt our business we feel like we start asking ourselves why did we even get into business what am i doing this is not for me i can't deal with people like this but don't let it make you feel like giving up so that's the third thing here do not let it make you feel like you want to give it up so do not give it up by you know by all means take space time out, do whatever you can 
Don't let it feel like it's going to pull you down because that's a part of being business. You get the great clients, the good clients, the awesome clients, and the most difficult clients as well. So it's normal and it will continually, you know, you'll experience this over time and the longer you are in business. So the important thing is here is to actually be aware of, you know, what's going on and how you can improve that and what lesson you can learn from that difficult client and the overall situation. And also just because one client isn't is difficult and isn't the right client that you want to attract doesn't mean the rest of the clients are the same like I said over time I've only had three now so um, that's pretty good for a business that's been running for that long but like I said not all clients are the same these things actually happen for us to learn from them so we can go on maybe change the you know add things into our contracts into our policies into our you know client booking workflow system or whatever it is that um, problem had arise from actually go in and amending things so it doesn't happen again so I really hope you enjoyed this episode on how to deal with difficult clients it really doesn't have to be so hard so if you think about these three things and take them on board when you have a difficult client I'm praying that you don't but if you have if you are looking to grow your business you're bound to find come across one either now or later but if you have had one before then I'd love to know in the comments below and if you're listening to the podcast remember we have a podcast at the business of photographer society business podcast go check it out leave me a comment go to the blog leave me a comment I'd love to know about your story with that difficult client and how you came to a decision where both you or the client was happy and how you resolved it. So I'll see you guys in next week's episode. Until then, take care. Hey, it's me again. I wanted to let you know about a free training that I created for you if you're stuck on how to turn your inquiries into bookings nearly every single time because I've discovered these three things that I need in place in my own photography business and when I've put them in place, they've started to work. So I want to share them with you in this free training. All you have to do is go to the photographersociety.com forward slash training and enter your name and details and you will be emailed that training right into your inbox, plus all the other details that you need along with that. But it's a free training and I'm gonna take you and discuss with you three things that you need in place inside your photography business and one particular strategy that's going to turn every inquiry, if not right away after they've inquired into a booking and build a relationship with your clients, then you're gonna love this training. It's absolutely free, as I said, so go to the photographersociety.com forward slash training or if there's a link somewhere around this video click there and it will take you right there and you can enter your name and details and get access immediately so it's no um, live it's no um, um, automated webinar it's nothing you get it straight away right into your inbox so go there and check it out